Maryland sports fans, there's only one sports book in the great state of Maryland with over 50 years' experience booking bets and supporting customers. Betfred Sportsbook at Long Shots is now open and is the only sports book in Frederick offering cash betting on football, basketball, world soccer, and more. Visit the Betfred Sportsbook at I 270 and MD 85 in Frederick, right next to Long Shots Off Track Betting. Go to BetfredSports.com for more information and your chance to win exclusive merchandise. Must be 21 or older. Play responsibly. For help, call 1 800 Gambler. See you later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Loud Spot tonight. We have an awesome show. I can't believe we got this going on. We got one of my best friends, my ride or die, Kenny P. In the house, we got Malcontent, a band that I used to listen to and go to their concerts in like 2001. So, Malcontent, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. And, Kenny, thank you for doing this podcast with me, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, bro. So you got you guys all know each other from see. So Kenny actually knows Malcontent and hung out with them like way back in the day. And Alan knew them from going to concerts at the Three Oaks Community Center. So do you guys do you guys like? So you get Malcontent's coming out with a new album coming out yeah. maybe this year? Is it maybe next year? Oh, uh, you want to answer that? Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's, it's, it's a possibility that we might uh, just release singles, okay. or it could be EP. We, we don't know yet. We just still we're still in the writing process, so um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But then everybody, we'll definitely make sure everybody knows. How many how many songs do you guys have? Like, are you working on right now? We have four four songs. Uh, three that are basically done. They just still need some mixing and mastering. Uh, we have another one that's just about completely written. Okay. And we'll, we'll be recording that one here in the next uh, two months. So. Uh, dude, I'm excited. Once I heard you guys were uh, back together as a band again, I actually got really excited because, uh, like, that dedicated album, which Kenny P actually sent me those songs today, and I, and I heard it. And I was like, oh, yeah, man, I remember all those songs. Like, I, I kind of forgot about those songs, you know? So, what? So did we. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? So, so I know there's some. There was some like, what? How did the band get back together? Because you guys didn't play together for quite. I know Kenny's interested in this story also because we talked about it. What? Uh, like, what's that whole story? Like, like, explain it to me. Like, how did you guys get back to playing as a band again? Well, a friend of ours had a uh, had gotten uh, cancer. And I wanted to do something to try to help her uh, pay for her whatever she needed because I knew she was going to be going through a hard time. So I I hit her up and I was like, hey, can, if I can do something for you to help you, would you be okay with it? I hadn't talked to any of these guys about it, uh-huh. except for Heath. I did talk to Heath about it. And... Uh, she was like, yeah, and then she actually hit up Alan, and you can tell that part. <laughs> yeah, within, I think, a half hour of Anthony talking to her, he hits me up, and she's like, so I hear uh, Malcolm Ted's getting back together. <laughs> <laughs> so on for him. <laughs> <laughs> that it was, was only going to be a one-time thing. Yeah, it was only going to be a one-time thing. We were going to get together and do that concert, and then it'd be, uh, it'd be it, that'd be it. Yeah. Then we went in and uh, had that, uh, we had a band meeting. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, After the show. After we yeah, did the show. And then we were like, hey, you still want to just do this, you know? Yeah. Well, we kept getting hit up. We kept getting hit up. People were like, you guys got to keep going. You can't just quit. <laughs> you know, they just like, no, no, it was mostly like, it was us, man. Well, we, were like, yeah, was we, were, we were enjoying playing together again. Yeah, we were in broken speakers. 
Okay. And I think we, that what that just ended, right? Yeah, we just we disbanded that band after that last week. After yeah, after that last week, week. We, the, the, that band was no more. And we asked Alan, hey, or we went up to meet Alan, and we were discussing, like, hey, you just want to do this? And we're like, okay, why not? Let's jam. I, I, you know? think, <laughs> I think Malcontent yeah. is a staple. Like, so back in those changed as far as the music scene. Like, I think the for, like, 1998 to, like, 2003 or four was, like, the best music was coming out of Vacaville, California. I mean, obviously, Papa Roach came out. In fact, I was listening to one of your songs, and it reminded me of old-school Papa Roach. Like, this, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the style. The, but, that, but that was, like, the style back in the day. And Three Oaks Community Center, that was the it, just, yeah. it just blew up, you know? And... I, you know, I just figured music was always would always be in Vacaville, but then I talked to some people, and they're like, it's just not the same anymore like it used to be. No, it's not. Three Oaks isn't around anymore, you know. You know, you know and especially when, you know, the major genre coming out is like hip-hop, pop, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 yeah you still got bands around here, but you really had nowhere to play except for 21 and over venues, which kind of sucks for the kids because the kids have nothing to do. And now they're you know what I mean? they Three Oaks was, yeah. that was the thing back in the day. Yes, it's something new. I was going there, like I think. So my senior year was two thousand. You guys are a little bit older than I am. So my senior year was two thousand one, and I went to every single like I went to every single Malcontent concert, every EMB concert, every Papa Roach concert, which you guys all played together typically. So, uh, it's a style concert. It's a style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monster Squad. Monster Squad. Monster Squad. It was a great scene. Yeah, back in the day, it was the greatest scene. Yeah. Big up to one ever. Squad for sure. Oh yeah. Our, our first show ever, uh, twenty-three years ago, last Saturday. Oh no, our second show ever. Excuse me. Uh, it was a week later. It was our second show ever was with Monster Squad at the Live Music Center in uh, in Vacaville. It, yeah, that was a really uh, big old teddy bear part, and there was beans, styrofoam beans, all over this parking lot, <laughs> and from everywhere, everywhere, everywhere was the craziest shit I've ever seen. It was <laughs> it was great. I know I'm excited. I know Kenny P is excited. For the new album, I, I saw a little short little teaser release you guys put on Facebook. One of you guys put it on there. I, I think it's Anthony that's really funny on Facebook, man. He has some pretty funny funny. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> it can be corny too. <laughs> yeah. It makes me chuckle, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're sensey. I think you're sense of humor. So your last album you came out with was in two thousand and three, right? That was the new. Yeah. And that's where I got Maddie on the drums saying the new and pointing the drumsticks. Yeah. Wow, that long ago. Huh? Dude, that, that long, long ago. ago. Long time. Well, yeah. yeah. And then uh, 2001 is when he came out with Dedicated. So this song... I wasn't in the band. Maddie wasn't in the band at that time. Maddie had, uh, uh, just so you know, those aren't my drums. <laughs> so, so Maddie's in the new, not Dedicated. Okay. Okay. Maddie was in the new but not dedicated. Yeah, I'm in the new. Yeah, that's the album I did. Yeah. yeah, and I'm the new one coming out, I'm gonna be in that one too. I apologize about my. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 a new guy. new member. A new member. Yeah, he's uh, a. Oh, he's yeah, bringing... yeah, there's a new member there. What's what's his name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got his phone. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he's uh, he's bringing a different energy to us, a different vibe, a different element. And it's pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, I thought there was, only, yeah. I thought there was, only, I thought there was an extra person there, but I wasn't sure, so I just kind of kept kept going with it. <laughs> so, so he is the guitar, yeah. Oh, yeah sorry, second you. guitar player, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude, awesome. I, I'm I'm so excited to hear the new album. Um, I had a question. Are would you say that with the new album, are you guys <clears throat> kind of staying consistent with the malcontent sound that we've always known? Or is the malcontent sound kind of evolving into something new? Uh, it's kind of both. It's kind of both. It's kind of both. I mean, we're, we're evolving out. Uh, you know, it's been how many years since we last wrote something together? So we've all grown. Right. Like, we're bringing, you know, what we've all learned yeah. from that time. But we still got that old feel, too, at the same time. I love it. This, well, Gail being in the band, it adds so much more 
That's the wall, awesome. what we can do. The wall of sound is the wall of sound is huge. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it adds so much more though. It's so it's so it's so good. You know, I can't wait. We can't wait for people to hear it. You know, we've actually been taking this uh, this quarantine time. Yeah, we can't do nothing else. Like let's just. Uh, Play write some music. Let's just write songs. Right. Write music. We can't play shows. We can't play shows. Let's just write, write some songs. Just write. Just you know what I mean? I have a feeling this podcast is going to last for two podcasts, and I think we're going to do a lot of talking, and I want to play a lot of your music, but that's fine, because once this podcast ends, I'll just start another one, and I'll just release it tomorrow as a part two. <laughs> <laughs> you got hey, and you know, what, you know what I was thinking is, because me and Sebastian talked about it quite possibly going into a two-part podcast, yeah. it's actually going to end up being a three-part podcast, because I'd love to get you guys back when the new album drops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, we'll do it. Yes. We'll, we'll play it for you guys first. That'd be, that'd, awesome, that'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. That'd Allow awesome. spot exclusive. Yeah, there you go. You know what's cool? Is this is probably the most fun thing I've ever done. Because I don't really, I'm a drummer, but I'm not like a good drummer like Maddie is, you know? But I get, I get to talk to I get musicians from all around the world sending me their stuff. And like every day I look to see my subscribers and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. So, um, I mean, the, and the fact that you guys are here, I think is going to bring in a lot of audience because I think a lot of people like you guys. And I've wondered, what the hell happened to Malcontent all these years? Well, guess what? They're back. And on that note, I'm going to play a song right now called Coming Back. <laughs> oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but not going to grab a drink. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go, song, Sebastian. Let's go. Yeah, I need a drink, please. <laughs>
you got a recording. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're done. <laughs> the song is, like, all your songs are dope, dude. Like, every single song is tight. Because <laughs> you know what it does? Ken, you can explain this the best. We talked about this earlier. It brings you back, right? Like, it brings you back. Yeah. The when I, I mean, I've been listening to both of the albums all day today, just, you know, kind of just getting myself fresh for the podcast. But what I love is not only these are my boys right here, but, like, just that, that, that Malco sound just brings me back to a place, like, of, you know, just reminiscent of times, you know, back in the day, man, just hooking up, partying, hanging out at the shows. Um, Everyone has been, what's, you know, cool, what's cool about it is, the music scene was so tight knit back then that it ranged from like young teenagers to like people in their twenties and possibly even even early thirties that's gonna have memories of this, and that's why I think your band is such a staple because you guys played so many concerts at Three Oaks that there has to be like you guys have to have a huge following of even if people like a buddy of mine, Daniel. I talked, to, I did a podcast with him, and I told him that Malcontent was gonna be on. He was like, "Holy shit, really, Malcontent?" Because even for him, it's like it's like a huge thing because he has his own memory. So I think everyone has like their own memories of why you guys are such a staple in the Vacaville community, which is awesome. So that's fantastic. Well, we love it. Like uh, we always oh, yeah. loved playing there. That was a uh, we kind of just adopted Vacaville because that was the first town that really like adopted us. You know, like first time we ever played out there. It, they just kind of took us in, you know, and it was kind of like, yeah, oh, shit, so we had to, we're from here now, you know, like this is, this is our town now, you know, like, so what, what, yeah, what? I think about that whole back then, three oak scene, all that, that whatever, it didn't matter what kind of style of music you were, yeah. you know, yeah. kids just dug you, man, you played music, man, and kids dug you. You were a fucking yeah. living legend <laughs> one night. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, Every man yeah. will tell you that they stocked up on their merchandise before they played it. Oh, no, yeah, they knew you were going to sell, sell out, out of everything. You sell out of everything there, dude. <laughs> Signing <laughs> autographs and stuff, <laughs> like, you know, like, you're just some stupid band. You're so stupid. <laughs> and then you're sitting inside <laughs> <out of> <laughs> Yeah. I remember signing somebody's convert, some, uh, somebody's Chuck Taylor, and I'm like, dude, these are your shoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm here to sign it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Right on. <laughs> That's so funny. Because, so fun, though. It was fun. It was great. That's because I think every band, like every every everyone that feels so many like young kids that attended that, they thought every band was going to be like super big and famous. You know? Oh yeah, dude. Well, for a lot sure. of work. Well, a lot of bands that played there were. That's right. Yeah. You got a uh, you got the big big huge bands. That, yeah. Well, look at how Incubus came through. That's no. Incubus. Incubus came through. Incubus came through. Nope. MPE. Yeah. 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 And of course, Hot Rod got started. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Alien, Ant, Alien Ant Farm, they had their yeah, album. Yes. Guy yeah, Trying had an album. Out there, Trapped. Yeah. 720. Green Day, Green Day. Green Day. Yeah, 720 record bands like. Uh, Lux. No, Lux wasn't no, Lux. 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 No, you had. Uh, Shorty. Yeah, Lux, 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 Lux. Hey, hey. Shorty, Lux. Head PE. Hold on. Lux. Yeah, yeah. Head PE. Yeah, they did. Hey, isn't Lux the one that had that chick singer? Yeah. Okay, so yes. they, they did play in back, and I'll tell you what happened. I went to a concert that Lux played, right? And oh. I was by myself, and I was bored, so I, I shit you not. I, I went from there, I went to Sacramento to a strip club that was 18 and over, because I was 18, right? And they played a Lux song, and they said, if you guess this song right, you get a lap dance. They played Lux. <laughs> I went to the DJ, I was like, that's Lux. He's like his jaw dropped to the floor. Like, how do you know who this band is? So, so, yeah. so he, he probably told the dancer, and that that is a true story. I'm not lying. That is, I swear to God, that that really happened. And I think that I mean, want having to pay a stripper for me to get a lap dance because he was like, no way, anyone's gonna know this song. Like, there's no way. So I don't know if they're from Sacramento, how they know that DJ or how that the whole dynamic yeah. was. But it was uh, interesting. It was interesting, anyways. <laughs> hey, we've had strippers dance. Hey, we've, had, we've had strippers dance for music yeah. at a strip club. In Reno. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, Every time we would walk through the door, even years later, the album would pop on. 
And then they start dancing to it. That's awesome. I got trying to do this screen. It was the new rock It was the new thing. They danced like every other song that they danced to was our song. And it was like... You know, when you're in your mid twenties, it was like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. <laughs> are, are, you guys, <laughs> are you guys having this shit? And you're like, and they were like, "This is you guys." This is you. Yeah. And they bite your ear. Yeah, they give us extra love, dude. We're <laughs> <laughs> an extra love. Are, are, you, are, you, are you guys having like just a blast? Just being back together. Like you got, and there's no shows lined up. I'm sure not yet, just because of COVID. And aren't like no, the bars closed? Yeah, like, yeah. isn't Cheers closed right now? No, they're open. What's no, open? No, no. Cheers isn't open. No, 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 no. Nothing's open. No, that's open. Right. Yeah. So we're not open. right now, we're just we're having a. I think we're. I can speak for myself. Dude, I'm hey. having the most fun I've ever had with these guys. That's awesome. You guys come yeah. to Oklahoma because everything in Oklahoma is open. Everything's open. <laughs> 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 I went I went downtown, took my wife, oh, my wife took me out for my birthday, and uh, we went to a, a restaurant that we really like, and we walked, and it was like kind of early, we walked outside after eating dinner, and there was like probably 300 people down there in downtown, ba- uh, not back, but Oklahoma City, and there was like a guy playing the bongos, it was just like, like, there was no such thing as COVID, and I looked at my wife, I said, see all these idiots? That's why COVID. That's, that's why See all these idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> idiots. <laughs> <They're> idiots. <laughs> but, but, idiots. But, but if you're the band playing, you just get up on stage, play your song, and get out of Dodge. You know what I'm saying? So you guys, let everyone in the audience deal with that. I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. So um, I do want to play Simplistic because I like, I mean, I on that, on the album, the new, um, which yeah. is now going to be the old because you have the new one coming out, right? <laughs> is 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 my favorite song on that and I don't know if it's my favorite song because I heard it more because I did that little shitty uh shitty little thing for you guys last night that was like I put it on YouTube that I deleted like three times I, <laughs> I kept on tagging you guys and I was like shit but it was late dude in Oklahoma City it was like midnight and I was like and then he pointed out that he's like well that I forgot what it was I did oh it made it look like the new album was called Dedicated I mean, oh, 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 yeah. And I, yeah, and I, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, CBS, before, before yeah, you yeah, hey, <laughs> Sebastian, you got to do me one favor, though, tonight. Yeah. Just play my history, too. Just <laughs> oh, that's, 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 cool. Cool. that's what Kenny said. Yeah, that's KP right there. That's KP. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, Damn bro. Yeah. 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 We streamed along with that many okay. nights. Many times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'll do that one right now. Actually, then let's do that one first. Okay, play that one. Play that one for KP. Okay. Yeah, play this shit. I actually have another one on there that I'm looking forward to playing too. History. All right. Bleed through me. Yeah. 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 It was never like, what's up, bro? Or what's up, Heath? I'd like, I'd sing his lyric to him, and it, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Old, old school memories. Yes, he did. <laughs> I beat your babies, mama. Okay, this is my face. All right, hey, my face. we're gonna play a goddamn song. All right, <laughs> play, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Play your song. Yeah. Uh, this is my his. It's your song. <laughs> my history is not content. Let's go. <laughs>
guitar player? Uh, so all we've been doing is like those two albums when we when we were playing. All we were doing were those two albums and added in the same guitar. Dude, I'm excited, man. I know. Um, are you guys able to <coughs> reveal the name of the album yet or no? They don't know it, I don't think. We don't really have well, we're, we're not even sure if we're doing an album or do or we're gonna drop a sun We're just gonna yeah, remember we're just gonna drop some probably drop some uh, singles. Then, I actually think that dropping singles is a good idea. You get the majority of them out and then release the album. Yeah, yeah, we could always do that, like singles and do something like you know, exactly. the, the COVID fucking song. Or whatever. <laughs> we'll call it the glory yeah, <clears throat> you know what it'll do is it'll keep people it'll keep people excited for the next track. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a good idea. It's different. I think it's good. I think it's really good. I, I think if you guys do that, because I, you do have such a big following, I mean, you, you know, doing something like that to keep people interested, and it's going to draw a lot of people that forgot about, or like had been in your shows back in 2001, 2002, 2003, uh, and if you do it slowly, they'll start catching wind, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to be excited about the next new single. Well, here's the thing, too. I, I think, too, because... Because <laughs> they yeah, I, I think but, because... I think because music venues are shut down and you guys can't do live shows right now, um, if you guys were doing live shows, by all means, I would say drop the album so that people yeah, can like hear the stuff. But because they can't, drop in the singles at yeah. one at a time, I think that yes. I, I think that's a, a good idea. I think that's great. That's why we want to do it. You know, like, why, why wait and, and try to drop everything all at once when you can just, like, Here's something new. Oh, you know, people are still you, stuck in their house. You know what? Hey. If you if you guys if you guys if you guys do that where you're dropping where you're dropping singles one at a time, let me know and send them to me because I can even do a little series called the Malcontent series, and I have like a little a little, a little, a little, a little yeah. ten minute podcast of just dude. one song. Yes. And can you people <laughs> be on it with me? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? A little, a little, a little mini a little mini series. Video show. Video show. Video show. Video show. Video show. This guy, man. Hey, you know. <coughs> He's super talkative. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's our boy, yeah. That guy fucking rocks, dude. That's our you new guitar player. You know what? I'm going to play, I'm going to play, um, <clears throat> I really want to play some Plistic. Honestly, we only like 10 minutes left on this podcast. That's so why we're going to keep it going. So, what <laughs> I want to play. Ble- I want to play "Bleed Through Me." That's what I want to play. All right. Okay. Hey, hey, it's your yeah. show, man. Whatever you want to do, do. <laughs> <laughs> it's my show. Hey. I play what I want to play. Oh, okay. But Maddie wasn't in the band then, so maybe I should play simplistic. Let me do a coin toss. I don't have a coin. Kenny, you got a coin? A coin. Hey, just play it. <laughs> just, just play it. Play which one? We don't uh, need a coin. 
All right. Under part two. I'll play Simplistics. Tails never fails. Tails never fails. Tails, tails so play it. Uh, I'm playing Simplistics since Maddie was in it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Simplistic Malcontent, one of my favorite songs on their album, The New. Check it out right now. On the Loud Spot! <laughs> I'm sure it's changed now. Like when you guys first started playing, who were you influenced by for like your sound? Or was it just like the Vacaville scene in general? It just had like its own unique, special sound. Sepultura. <laughs> <laughs> when we started, actually, when we started playing together, we were a uh, a death metal band. Really? Death metal, punk rock. Well, they were a death metal band that sounded like a punk rock band. So like a, we had a thrasher like, band, kind we, of. We had a little bit of hip-hop influence in there a little bit. Right. It was kind of like Mal Confused. Kind of It was kind of actually uh, a little bit more like System of a Down before System of a Down was... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can dig so, that. So who started the band? Like, who originally started the band? Oh, man. 
I wasn't there. I just didn't sound as good. But it was kind of just all over the place. And uh, that was when we originally had two guitar players. We lost one. I pussified the band. I took <laughs> over the writing. And I, I changed our sound. Yeah. And that's what I hang out in Baggerville more and kind of just uh, hanging out in that scene and hearing the sound. And it had this cool vibe your head to it, but mm-hmm. still aggressive. Vacaville scene uh, was the cool, the Vacaville scene was the coolest scene, hands down, anywhere in the world. I think back in like two thousand, two thousand one. Like, what's up, Vacaville? Vacaville, I'm from Vacaville. Hey, hey, we're not gonna say Airfield because I promised Sebastian I wouldn't say the F word, so we'll just stick with that. Seven oh seven, man. So okay. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, going, going back to the original question of it, um, yeah, there was, there was, uh, we're definitely influenced by that, that back of the sound, uh-huh. um, but we all kind of, we all kind of came up from a little different, different, different background, you know, yeah. some of us a little more death metal, some of us, uh, old rock stuff, and like, even with, even with this lineup we have right now, like, we all have common ground, but we all come from like different backgrounds, we all kind of bring back, bring all that together. I, I love asking. I love asking a band who their influences are because every band member always says something different. Like some people in the band don't even like their that style of music that they're playing, but they like their band. You know, like I was in a hard rock group, kind of like uh, like this is a hard, just a hard rock group, we weren't metal, just hard rock. But my favorite style of music was like punk rock. You know, so I tried to bring a little bit of punk influence, uh, but still the band. But I, I liked our songs. I thought we were awesome. I thought our band was great. Like I would have bought my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'll buy my own album. I don't know about you, but I'll buy it. I'll buy my own album if I want to. <laughs> I think the cool part about our sound is that we just never, like, we never tried. Like, we were never trying to sound like anybody else. Like, even though we had the influences, and even though, like, we were in, we were each individually influenced by somebody else. Like, I don't, I don't know that you could, people used to ask us, well, what's your sound? We're like, I don't know, and like they try to, they would try to pitch all of us, but they never could. They can like I, I I mean to this day I don't know that anybody's ever ever been able to say, Oh, malcontent sounds like Malcontent sounds but, like you know Mal- malcontent sounds like malcontent. I mean that's yeah, that's we, the truth. We, we yeah. Play with death, like back in the day we play with death metal bands and death metal bands, black metal bands. And we always come in. Uh we we did tours with uh hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. You guys just kind of play with every, with everyone, and that you know, I get a lot of like black metal and death metal music artists that send me this, which I love because they're like huge fans of what we're doing over here. So I, I appreciate. It. I love all the music. We're actually going to get some on the show later this month or next month. But yeah, you guys definitely aren't black. I wouldn't even classify you guys as metal. I would just say you guys just have like a really heavy rock sound. Yeah, because because Heath does a lot of singing. Like he does, he's not just growling and screaming. Like he, he, in fact, you rarely scream. Like I think you only do when you need to emphasize something, but it's always like at the perfect time to do it. You just sing. Uh, like, that that just hit on something that you guys talk about or, or something because they they were just laughing over there about that. No, because you said they rarely he rarely screams and. Uh... He screams at you yeah, guys. You guys all yeah, 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 Hey, get your head out of your asses. Like I had to tell you guys earlier, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> got angry. Got angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I talked to Keith uh, a couple times. I talked to him last night. Uh, <laughs> I apologized for the first video. And then the second one wasn't any better. I was like... Damn it, because I actually messed up again. I actually put my logo that I don't even use in the middle of it when it was just supposed to be, like, new new album coming soon. But I wasn't going to... Dude, I already tagged you guys in, like, three or four different posts. I wasn't fixing to redo it. It was midnight in Oklahoma, and I had to go to work today. So I was like... Yeah. You can't. So I woke up this morning, like, I showed my wife. I was like, look what I did. She goes, it looks great. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It looks like shit. Like, I told you to pick this up. I said, but I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to delete it. I'll just keep it. It's, hey, but you know that was my very first. Um, I, I that's the first time I ever used Adobe Premiere. I never used it before. It took me like five hours to just that little clip. So you guys better Maybe. like it. Appreciate it. A- a- ain't no bad idea. The fucking midnight on a Tuesday. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> no bad idea. Like, we appreciate everything. We appreciate no, everything. Man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, we're going we're gonna to shut the podcast down, but you guys don't go anywhere, okay? We're going to start another podcast. So hold on a second. Right. I, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I told you. <laughs> I like classic rock. This, this concludes <laughs> episode one <laughs> with Malcontent. And and episode two will be available tomorrow. Not this is gonna be available tonight, so hold on a second. I'm gonna play this outro song real quick. Alright everybody. This is tonight's episode. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow. You guys don't hang up the you guys stay on the zoom call, alright? That was the wrong that was the wrong outro song. Hold on. <laughs> That was the wrong one. Here we go. This is the this is the right one. All right. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. Mistakes happen. <laughs>